These days, most kids don't want to grow up to be an astronaut or a baseball player. They aspire to compete in front of loads of people on the biggest stages doing what they love, playing video games. After two years of Discord calls and being cooped up in their homes, Tribe Gaming sent two teams from the NA and EU regions to Bucharest, Romania to compete for the Championship Cup. This tournament was packed with plenty of storylines. Teammates meeting IRL for the first time, riveting rematches, underdogs, big advantage, stray dogs, and even a potential chewing gum partnership. This is a win condition. I'll get the sponsor going. I'll be like, hey, this is uh, kind of good. Gets me uh, kicked up. And mate, I'm getting the spins just thinking about it all. This is the Brawl Stars World Finals 2021. A brawl in Bucharest. Tribe Gaming is quite a wild bunch. Let's meet the players. <laughs> so it's quite big. <laughs> Hi, my name's Spencer, aka SpenLC. I'm a pro player for Tribe Gaming and a content creator. The vibes up. All the hard work's basically been done. It's the last stretch, so. I need energy. <laughs> Half the hat. Hey, my name's Taha, aka Drage, and I'm a pro player for Tribe Gaming. The biggest thing I'm excited for is being in that atmosphere and uh, playing. We are lost on the streets of Bucharest. Kane is a very nice guy, but yeah, he just he begged us to come to Tribe. Hey, man, I'm Tom from Tribe Gaming, also known as Tam. And uh, yeah, I'm also a content creator as well for Tribe Gaming. Come on, Tribe, win! Great, Bob's off, they're gonna win. <laughs> that's, that's honestly what I think. I'm Corey Newell, and I'm a pro player for Tribe Gaming NA. I'm drinking uh, hype sauce. Right now, I have like no spare clothes, which is uh, a little bit annoying. Three, two, one. My name is Nahal, but I go by Tyrant, and I'm a pro player for Tribe Gaming. Tomorrow, we got five scrims, so we're gonna be grinding really hard. I live in North Carolina, and I love playing cricket. Uh, my name is Sebastian, also known as Zulon, and I'm a professional player for Tribe Gaming. I'm definitely not scared. I think we can beat him. We'll see what happens Friday. First game, number one seed NA, number one seed EU, like SK Gaming, probably most people's favorite going into it on paper. Two Titans just going at it. I knew it was going to be a huge game. When I first found out that we were facing SK, I was a bit mad at first, but as time went on, you know, we were more accepting of it. So when I found out the bracket, I was kind of annoyed, to be honest. To have two Titans kind of face off in the first round doesn't really make sense to me. You know, number one EU versus number one A is probably the, one of the roughest matchups we could have got, so obviously wasn't ideal. It's just that they've been winning every single tournament, and it's like, it's just that they're one step ahead of every single team in Europe. I mean, when you compare us and NA, we've lost our fair share. But SK and EU, they haven't really lost a single tournament. I mean, we're, I mean, we're, 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 we're from <laughs> Europe, right? Yeah. We got it. Honestly, I didn't know about the poll. I didn't know what the percentage was. I was pretty sure it was going to be in favor of SK anyway, but to think it was like 80 to 20 or something like that was kind of kind of insane. But hey, man, it's fun to be an underdog. I actually like that we were underdogs. I think all the pressure was on them to win, so that made me less nervous. And all the experience, everything they have is going to be super helpful. At the start of the first set, it kind of seems like, you know, Tribe Gaming with the enthusiasm that they have, Zula absolutely popping off, getting all the hyped up. It kind of, you saw the look on SK's faces, they were worried after they lost that first set, and I feel like momentum's such a big thing in Brawl Stars that that paired with, you know, the enthusiasm that Tribe NA were bringing, it was really worrying for SK. We had all the momentum. Zulan was going crazy, Corey was going crazy. We won five games in a row, which was almost like surreal. I don't, I don't think any team in Europe has done that, especially to SK. Towards the middle, we lost a little bit of that momentum and that energy. Corey gets tagged up quite a bit. That's the elimination onto Zulan. Five seconds left. Tyrant goes down as one. That's going to be SK pushing things to set four. Seconds left and SK gaming. They make it three games in a row. I thought they were going to get reverse webbed, you know, Cody, he almost jinxed us. Damage, this is absolutely doable here for Tribe. SK Gaming need to pull up an amazing defense, but the damage comes true, and they have done it. Tribe Gaming and A are going to the quarterfinals. And Thankfully, he still got his job, and they didn't get reverse webbed because that would have not been pretty. My goodness me, look at that. The studio is so electric. 
So Zulan is obviously a player that kind of thrives under the, the LAN environment, and I love that. Zulan, <laughs> he popped off. The SK Gaming of EMEA, and there it is from Zulan. I was so hyped. I mean, it was the most hype I've been in any match, in any tournament. Zulan was electric. Everyone's uh, posting his GIF on Twitter all the time. Honestly, with Zulan's enthusiasm, it kind of brings an aspect to the stage that a lot of players don't bring, and I feel like it's really good. Uh, it's the same with, you know, New Zealand teams playing rugby. They, they scare their opponents, and it does show when they play. We believed in the comeback all the way until the end. The Tribe shot it. I mean, SK going into it is a heavy favourite. It was quite surprising to see them go out in the first round, but after that game, everybody kind of, kind of came to the realisation that any, any team could be any team in a line format. The energy when we got into the studio or with all the Brawl Stars guys was unmatched. I've never seen something like it before. I felt famous walking through everybody. And everyone was so hyped, so happy for us. It was just crazy. I mean, I felt great. My parents were there between all, all the crowd and everyone high-fiving, fist bumps everywhere, hugs. And it was just a great moment. I wish I could feel that every single time I win a tournament. I think, like, it's, it's crazy, but I had, like, before flying, I had, like, a dream, and it was them winning. Honestly speaking, I was more nervous for their game than mine. Like, I was, my heart was racing, uh, like, the whole place was, like, bouncing, you know. By the time that game finished, I just, all my nerves had gone, you know. I was just <laughs> excited for my game more than anything. <laughs> Come, come. <laughs> Who are we, guys? We are Tribe Gaming. Oh, Who are we? No, no, I can't hear you. No, no, I can't hear you. No, no, Who are no, we? No, no. Tribe Gaming. We are Tribe Gaming, okay? What is come it? on. This next matchup is, is going to be pretty incredible, I think. Yeah. We have definitely one of the most popular teams in the world of Roll Stars, right? Tribe EU are going up against Navi here in our last match of the day. I mean, in terms of being chemistry being built in the Tribe EU team, I think they did very well for the amount of time they had. I feel like that definitely become, comes down to because they're such good friends on the outside of competitive, that during competitive, the synergy is going to be really, really strong as well. And I think that was a, a big help in getting it up to the level that they need to be. This is Navi, the kings of the EECA region against Tribe EU, who are, I mean, probably have the highest expectations of any team, but, you know, they, they come from the most competitive region, right, where they've been going head to head with insane rosters. Tom and Spen have lifted that trophy. Drage, though, I have no doubt about it, will come in today and show why he is the character and the skill to back it up as well that he deserves to be. Oh my But Drage has another life, but again, the Mortis is a menace for Tribe. It's the top of the out of them. I think that Navi may just have it, and they have knocked out Tribe Gaming EU. So yesterday, I don't think we played bad. The performance was pretty good. I felt like it was just the picks was just pretty bad. We didn't adapt quick enough. So we did actually anticipate them playing pretty tanky, but they actually banned Bell that we hadn't been practicing with. And Bell is obviously a really good counter to, to tank. So a lot of our comps were kind of ruined. So we went like a lot of Byron Meg and Navi. They went like triple aggro pretty much every map. Basically got absolutely demolished by their playstyle. I mean, I kind of think that the Tribe EU game plan went all wrong in the ban phase, so therefore they were always playing into Navi's hands, playing the comps that Navi wants to play, and you're not going to be able to beat them in a mirror comp when it's exactly what they've been practicing. Clean space clock, perfect lifeblood there, and whoo, okay, this was not nearly as close this time around. Uh, when it got brought up about just standing up, it's just not really like fair. You don't really see that in other esports. Normally you cater to the players, like sitting down, comfort your own home. So obviously it's not ideal with them not being here at the LAN, but we were pretty much in the same position until Dre managed to get his vaccine. So um, yeah, I don't blame them at all. I think it's not ideal, but it's the best we could do in this time. No shame on Navi. Secret in my head, you know, I had visions of us going far, uh, at least like getting towards the semi-finals, you know, making a real statement. But yeah, just getting knocked out first day isn't really a good feeling, not what I expected. to be there to cheer on Tribe NA tomorrow? 100%. I'm backing the homies to win it. Tribe NA should uh, hopefully bring it home for us. I 
Honestly, I think I felt more nervous for this match than I did versus SK. I don't know if it was the pressure of being favored or just the pressure of, you know, just being on stage again got to us this time differently than the last. But I will say we played much different than we normally play. Somewhere near um, heist, things just started going downhill and we lost a lot of momentum and we lost gem grab too. The minecart comes through and Zulan can scoop it up. What luck for Tribe NA. But INTZ as quickly as that will stop the countdown. Corey too low on the right hand side to be able to push back. Who's Zulan doing his thing? This will be very, very careful about it. Oh, Tufa comes in with the magic hand, getting it and timing it to perfection. Tyrant coming in. He's got the gems, but not enough to be able to do anything about it. Marcel almost pushed into the minecart. Tufa though has enough with Viper to be able to hold on here. Minecart coming in as well. INTZ gets thrown straight back in their face. I think we just kind of talked to each other and said, hey, look, like we know we can win this match. We know we are a very strong team and, and we can beat these guys. So uh, we just kind of, you know, picked each other up a little bit and going into that fourth set, reminded ourselves to, to you know, take it slow, play, play smart, uh, because I think we were making a lot more mistakes than we usually do. So we're trying to remind ourselves throughout the whole series um, to just kind of play our game. We got our comp straight. We did not get countered and we had a pretty good um, set. I, th I think it was pretty good for us. Uh, I was popping off as B, Corey as Meg, he's been really improving as Meg. Tyron as Barley, the best Barley I've ever seen. Tyron is an amazing thrower player, and Barley especially. He's known as one of the best in North America, maybe maybe the best, you know, and he's been known for it for a while now. Not surprising that he uh, won his matchup in the mid there and, and kind of dominated that game. Team wipe and the first ball, not actually going to show his face. It's a tie, which could mean a one push scenario. Everyone played very well the hot zone map. It actually felt like we were playing how we normally play in the hot zone map. And, and uh, it kind of gave us some momentum back and a little more confidence going into it. And then the last one, we started off how we won the first game. And then we just kind of choked. I mean, we, like literally a different difference of one or two bolts. And we just lost. We couldn't defend if we lost. I got a little too overconfident and started um, celebrating too early. Play. Great reserving of the gadget there from Tyron, spinning as well, giving the protesto. He thinks it's all over. I'm not so sure just yet. The round is still going in. Firecrow has got the batting stance and the heels coming in. Marcel has the balls. I, I honestly don't really know exactly what happened. I, I remember I was so focused trying to hit my shots to keep them back. I was far right side. I could barely see what he, what he was doing. I think I saw like a, maybe like a wiggle. Star, have you learned your lesson? Don't spin, don't protest. Don't. But I felt like we thought the game was over when I knew it wasn't. And uh, I think we literally choked. I made a very crucial mistake, but uh, I'm not gonna let it turn me down. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we win and lose as a team. Uh, so, you know, stuff happens. Uh, and again, it's a learning experience. I think it was a very important learning experience for our team in general. Um, I think that sometimes uh, we may be celebrating a little too early or, or something. The game's never over till it's over. Um, and again, you know, I understand uh, he was very hyped about the moment we thought we won. Uh, and it just shows that you have to play to the last seconds. And uh, hopefully we never do that again. Competing against the best isn't easy. Mistakes can't be made. Composure is key and communication is imperative. The favorites don't always win. And no matter how much you practice, you always wish you did more. And although Tribe didn't take the trophy with them this year, it's important to remember what really matters. Friends, family, and G Fuel. Hey Zeta, keep that trophy polished for us. Because Tribe's got next. Hey man, I'm Tom from Tribe Gaming. <laughs> My name is Dex... Oh, so I look here and not there at all, at all. Oh, it's just habit. Honestly, it's just habit. F in the chat. <laughs> I can just say hi. My name's Spen Osti. I'm a. Yeah, hi. I'm Spen. Oh, Spen. Yeah. <laughs> What's gonna make this year different? This year, um, we don't have delay. <laughs> <laughs> My job outside of Brawl Stars is uh, lobster fishing. That's a good attempt. I would say that's a good attempt. Yo, Extra, you know, gonna hit me up with a sponsor. I don't mind. Chainsaw Tribe Victory.
Cheers to Tribe and Pat for paying for the food. <laughs>